Hey everyone, Ross McCorkle here with another episode of the Depot 180. The Steelers have made another signing throughout the Pro Day process, this time TJ Carter out of Kentucky, who will provide some competition and depth along the defensive line throughout the offseason. This is the fifth such player that the Steelers have signed during the Pro Day process, as many players who weren't invited to the scouting combine last season and then had their Pro Day canceled due to COVID now have a platform to show NFL coaches what they've got. This could prove to be a pretty savvy strategy for the Steelers, who are forced to bargain hunt with their cap situation. Carter was briefly a member of the Arizona Cardinals offseason squad last year, but was cut after one week. Carter noted that he was cut, along with nine others, so that the team could be compliant with COVID restrictions while not breaking the team up into two separate groups. A pretty rough offseason for Carter and probably countless other fringe roster rookies. Juju Smith-Schuster has been making the rounds in the media and went on to Michael Irvin's podcast recently. Juju discussed a wide variety of topics, including his brief stint in free agency and his decision-making process to come back to the Steelers. Essentially, it is what everyone expected. The Ravens are too run-heavy to feature him. The Chiefs have too many weapons that could eat into Juju's playing time and production. It just made too much sense to come back once Ben Roethlisberger announced he was returning. Juju also talked about the drama that surrounded him last season with his pregame TikTok routine. He mentioned that the players on his team had his back and nobody was really worried about it. Ultimately, Mike Tomlin ended up putting a stop to that as it became too much of a distraction. Juju talked about Coach Mike Tomlin and his style in leading the players. He mentioned that Tomlin was a no-nonsense guy who tells it how it is. Juju described a time when he showed up late to a training camp practice and Mike Tomlin told him, quote, I am going to fine you so hard that your kids can't go to college. Members of the media hold an opinion that Mike Tomlin is a player's coach that doesn't have the discipline necessary to lead, but Juju painted a much different picture. It sounds like Tomlin certainly has the respect of his players. Scott Pavel released his latest mock draft leading up to the 2021 NFL Draft over on Steelers Depot. Scott does an immense amount of work every year compiling data on all draftable players and piecing together a big board, so be sure to check out both his mock draft and his big board as the draft will be here before we know it. Let me know how you enjoyed the video on Twitter at Ross underscore McCorkle. And as always, visit SteelersDepot.com for your latest and greatest Steelers breaking news and analysis.